So if you've seen some of my vlogs already, you know what I'm going to be eating for breakfast, overnight oats. And since today I'm going to need a little more energy for this vlog, I'll be adding a little extra ingredient to them. I'm going to finish my breakfast, get ready for the day before heading out to the office. I've been trying to figure out what this new installation is for the past week outside of my office and I still don't know, but let's get to work. Now my work has hot desking set up, meaning you don't have a fixed seating location. But if anyone else is planning to come in on the day, we usually message in the group chat the day before to let them know where we plan to sit. Now the first thing I do every morning is to check my emails for replies I needed from other people or actions that other people need from me. And since I work on a global level, it makes sense to prioritize the request from colleagues in Asia first, as they'll only be in the office for two more hours. After I've gone through my emails, I make sure to write down today's to-do list in my notebook, and I'll have this page open on my desk all day to remind me of what I need to complete. One thing working as a risk analyst is you need to always make sure you're aware of everything that's going on around the world. This means a lot of reading. Importantly though, and I've had this checked in an interview, make sure all your sources of information are from varied places with differing views. This gives you more of a holistic understanding of the financial markets. Right now, I'm reading a lot of analysis on the central banks as they all had their monthly meetings yesterday. And it's interesting to see people's arguments on if the economy is going to get worse or better in the coming year. Any insightful articles I usually share with my colleagues and also summarize them with one sentence. It's also a good habit to save important articles down somewhere as you'll often have to quote them later on in presentations. Now that's done, the rest of the morning is reading various team documents. Now reading documents as a risk analyst is an extremely important skill to develop just as much as writing them. Whilst you're the one responsible for your portfolio, various teams have different inputs from tech to data scientists, all influencing your portfolio models. Whenever there's a meeting, you need to be able to understand what changes they're proposing and the impact it'll have on your portfolio you definitely have to have the confidence to push back if you don't see it beneficial to your portfolio's overall health. Now there's no getting around the bulk of what I do is reading financial statements. It's by far the biggest part of my role and you need to be able to see through the corporate jargon that companies present if you want to be a great risk analyst. That means understanding both the quantitative data as well as the qualitative information that's provided in them. Now lunchtime is approaching and I wanted to try this new vegan place that's opened up. It looked quite fancy from the outside, but the burger, well, I'll let you decide. Right now I'm working on a client deal who's requesting a large line and usually for a lot of your decision making, you can do this without talking directly to the client. However, since this client deal is a bit more complicated with a lot more moving parts, I've scheduled a call with the head of finance to understand more about the deal that they're wanting and the terms of trade. I'm just preparing any questions I want answered about the deal ahead of the call and trying to spot any questions that I have based off their financial statements. One thing to note is when talking to clients, it's not really a negotiation you're trying to do. 
It's more understanding the requirements and finding an optimal solution for everyone. You definitely want to be working with the client rather than against them. All right, so my meeting's finished and I'm now consolidating my notes and I'm going to forward this onto my manager so that he can be kept in the loop on the latest status of the deal. There are a lot of points to consider following the call, but at the end of the day, it's up to you as a risk analyst to determine if you're going to be for or against the deal and be able to explain why. One thing on a Monday, especially when it's a bit quieter for me, is I block out an hour for personal development. This could be some coding or market knowledge that I'm trying to get better at. Now I know this looks like a jail cell, but it's actually really helpful to focus on. There's literally no space for distractions here, and I usually go to one of these pods for self-study when needed. This week, there's a few credit concepts that I'm struggling to understand, so I've used this time to focus on bringing myself up to speed. Now it's around 6.30 p.m. and I'm heading off for the day, but there's one credit request I still need to work on, but I need someone from America to approve it as it's within their approval authority. I'm going to send the write-up I've done to them with an executive summary, so that they know everything about it and I'll ping them on the chat to say I've got my phone with me so just ping me back once they've started looking at it. If they have any questions or they're okay with the request I'll log back in later to submit the credit request in the system. Before I log back in later in the evening I'm going to use the short time I have to go to the gym and since I've already packed my gym bag in the morning I'm just going to get a quick snack before heading off. Now even though I've only got 30 minutes for a workout, as I'm expecting to log back in, still gotta warm up. All right, warm up done, let's go. So the person's replied back and luckily there's no questions. I'm going to submit the request for approval and then finish up for my day. And I'll see you all in the next video.